let's move on to the fourth clip, net profits. Did it rise or fall? Now we're looking at net profits that's after deducting all expenses, including depreciation, taxes, interest expense, and minority interest. Now this is also called part me for short, or profit after tax and minority interest. Okay, what should you note about net profits? Has it risen or fallen? Why? Was it due to sales or was it due to margin squeeze? Now sometimes you will note some items that a company does not expect to recur. These are also called non-recurring items. Now look for any unexplained jumps or falls in items under the income statement and ask if this is likely to recur in the next few years or not. If these items are not likely to repeat themselves, then exclude them from consideration. Have a look at the segmental breakdown in the notes to financial statements. Go through the sales and earnings for each segment. If you see any segment that is not improving in either sales or earnings, find out, really find out if this is explained in the management discussions. If not, do ask why. Now let's look at the SGX 2009 annual report as an example. Now FY 2009 proved to be a challenging year for companies globally. This includes SGX. Its net profit after tax attributable to equity holders fell 36% from 478 million to 306 million. Now let's look at the why and the how. If you look through sales, the breakdown gives you 11 line items. The most significant of these are really two. They are the securities and derivatives clearing fees. These two items alone contribute to 58% of the total sales. So you should just pay more attention to these items. About two-thirds of the revenue declined were due to the fall in securities clearing fees. And this was obviously because equity markets globally were generally quieter due to the financial crisis. Now let us now go into the expenses to calculate the margins. To calculate operating margin, we take the profit from operating activities and divide this by the revenue. We see that the operating margin fell from 68.6% in 2008 to a still credible 61.7% FY in FY 2009. Now let us now look at other items. There is one item called other gains and this fell from 48.5 million to just 1 million. So what caused this drop? To understand this better, let's look at item 21 in the financial statements. We will note that in 2008, the bulk of other gains came from the expiration of a compensation fund that is no longer needed by the SGX and therefore in assessing the quality of the earnings, one should actually exclude this item.